and welcome back to the Mama Connect, where we talk about all things mommyhood. It's your girl, Sarlita, and I'm so glad that you're here. Welcome. Today is going to be one of these chats, girl, where we talk about something that's going to be a, listen, it's going to change the game. Okay? Just quote me on that. Okay? I said that. I said what I said. Get cozy. Grab your little drink, your little tea, your little coffee, whatever you need, and just get a blanket. Just get comfy, girl. Just get comfy. Okay, so now that you're back and you're all settled in, let's get into it. So we've reached the part of the year where everything's starting to blossom and bloom and grow all around us. But in our homes, we are ready to just close the books and put them away and just rest and long for those summer days. There are those days when I just am not feeling it. Like either Aunt Flo's coming or I've just, I'm just tired, you know? It would be nice to still keep the kids occupied. It would be nice to give them something so they're not always arguing. Recently, I found out about this amazing company called Knowledge Crates. I have it right here. So hold on one second while I go pick it up. So this is a Knowledge Crate, y'all. Um, look at the design. It's such a enticing box, right? What kid wouldn't want to crack this thing open and dig into it? I know I want to dig into it. It's 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 heavy, y'all. It's a little it's a little heavy because it has a plethora of supplies, activities, like all kinds of things for your children to do. So Knowledge Crates is a quarterly subscription service, or you can pay for it monthly, where you get a full Knowledge Crate like this. They are seasonal crates. So this is the spring box. Um, then they have all the other seasons, summer, fall, and winter, and it repeats. And every season, the box is filled with all kinds of goodies, activities, games, and everything that relates to that season. It touches on, like every subject that you can possibly think of so they're not just like it's not like arts and crafts y'all like we're talking we're, we're getting into some reading there's math there's literature there's science there's art there's so many things in this box just so much and it can last for ever <laughs> it can last it can definitely last you the three months of the season but Depending on how you work this thing, you might have some things left over. And that is like perfect for those rainy days. Oh, do you feel the, the, the weight just lifting off your shoulders just by me talking about this thing? Wait, wait till I open it up and show you all the things. You are going to totally freak out. Like, <laughs> it's going to be so good. Okay. Put myself down. Okay. I told you I'm excited about this. They also have mini crates, which are smaller, um, and they are not subscription. You can get them a la carte, and they are um, themed. So they have dinosaurs, which I am about to go get those. I'm about to go buy that, and I will let you know all about that. They have unicorns. They have a sensory mini crate. I mean, and they have so many more on their website. You can bundle up the mini crates and get a discount on those. Um, if you're not, like, if you just want to, like, either do a specific theme or you want to just kind of like dip a toe into the knowledge crate world and just get a feel for it definitely consider the mini crates but we went full just all the way in because i have seen so many great reviews and i said you know what we just gonna trust the process i was like we've got to have this in our home immediately so i went ahead and got a subscription for their regular crates so they have preschool and they have school age um i actually bought one of each because my kids are um almost five i have a six-year-old and i have a nine-year-old okay so let's get into all the knowledge crate things i cannot wait to crack this open let's do it i got a school age crate and these are the books can't wait to see i see a little bit can't wait to open those up and then this is the preschool crate i got one i have two um younger girls i want them to share a crate and so 
I got the preschool add-on kit, which basically gives a says right here a second set of materials for the activities listed below. Um, that way, for example, they don't have to try to uh, you know make one birdhouse like they can all make their own birdhouse. So I'm gonna start with the preschool crate. Let's check it out. Okay, so we have the spring activity guide. Um, ooh, butterfly, just like the butterfly that was there. I see y'all, I see y'all. Um, so the activity guide tells us about the company. It tells us what's in the guide. Um, it tells you where to begin. It's literally telling you how to use this box. Um, it tells you like, okay, so there's learning goals that are color coded. Everything is covered. So these are the activities and it tells you like the color codes here, like what learning goals are being addressed um, in each of these. So this is so good. And it tells you what you need and it tells you what questions to ask. So we're talking about critical thinking, communication, and through these conversations, you're bonding with your child. Like this is so great. Um, the process of how to do it, the learning goal, like, and this is so great for those of you who are homeschooling and have to turn in, um, you know, portfolios and you have to submit like what are the goals and what are the things that you worked on this school year, the scope and sequence, you literally can use these and say we identify basic needs of living things. We recognize that plant, like this is, man. I tell y'all, I haven't even gotten, this is just me opening the cover. I haven't even gotten that far. <laughs> so yeah, it's telling you like all the things that you're going to need um, to do the activities. So these are the books in the preschool crate. Oh, Rainbow Fish, National Geographic Kids, Honeybees, Stone Soup. And then this one is, we've got the whole world in our hands. So we basically have materials to do all of the things that are in here. So you pick and choose where you want to start, right? Whatever piques your child's interest, right? So we can make a birdhouse. I'm so excited. These are like number, identifying numbers. Okay, so practicing numbers. This is actually going to be very good for my four and a half year old. And my and my six-year-old to practice too. Okay, so we have the turtle life cycle, and we have ooh the bee life cycle. So these are different life cycles. And hold on, let me let me point this out to you. Let me see. I'm getting it close so you can see it in a light. Do you see that? It's laminated, y'all. Okay, so we have some paint. We've got some paint here. We've got some play-doh, and then we have. Okay, these are clothes pens, and you know what? I bet you use these clothes pens with this activity. That is my thought. Stick the clothes pen on the correct answer here. We have, let me open this up. A wooden alphabet. There are, let's see, water beads. Oh my gosh, these. I bet you could pick up some fine bugs with this. And speaking of fine bugs, we have some worms. That is so fun. Um, we have a game for catching flies. And we have black glue. And even a mark, like they literally thought of everything. Do you know how hard it can be sometimes to find a marker? It's all here. Like what more could you ask for? All right. We have Play-Doh accessories. Wow. Okay, so we have more cups. And we have vinegar. I don't always have vinegar on hand, y'all. And like to have it like it's just here is like this blesses me <laughs> like it does uh, potting soil i think one of the activities is growing grass 
look at that. I'm, y'all, I am trying to contain my composure right now. Bonus art materials. Who doesn't love glitter? My girls love glitter. Oh my gosh. They've even thought of the paintbrush, y'all. These are laminated sheets. This is of jars, different colored jars. And then these are some spring shapes, butterflies. And we have, what is that? I can't tell, it might be like a, a duck. A scavenger hunt. I love this because again, this is a preschool box. So my girls are still kind of learning how to read, but they sure know how to look at these pictures and say, oh, that is a squirrel. And they can like read the, oh, this must be what squirrel says. This is going to be fun. Okay, cool. And they have this spring yoga. So we have buzz like a bumblebee, flutter like a butterfly, march like an ant, spin like a spider, wiggle like a worm, hop like a grasshopper, and crawl like a scale. This, now, my kids are going to love this. A spring I spy. Ooh, we love I spies. Catching flies frog mat. Okay, so this must go to that game that I... So, here we go. Catching flies. So we see got the flies here. And then this is the mat for it. Printing practice. Number practice is so important. And when we have more numbers. And then this is a picture of a turtle. Okay, and then this. Oh, another paintbrush. Look at that. Okay, and then this is the bottom of the box. And we have finger plays. So many things you can do with this box. So now we're gonna open up the preschool add-on kit. Okay, so these are what was inside the preschool add-on kit. We have the turtle page. We have the spring shapes. And this has the water beads, some worms. It has the Play-Doh accessories. It has the wooden bird um, birdhouse. It has the paintbrush and the black glue. Um, so that is what's in the preschool add-on kit. Oh yeah, and cups too, extra cups. Okay, so now we have the school age crate. Um, and this will be what my nine-year-old is gonna be using. I'm gonna open the school age books first because I am a sucker for good books. Okay, so we have the BFG by Roald Dahl, a fun chapter book. This is gonna be great. For my nine-year-old, we have Aesop's Fables, more than 60 stories, National Geographic Kids, Rosa Parks. I love that they included this, the inclusion of just black history. This is, thank you, Knowledge Crates. And snakes! <laughs> dun da 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 So just like in the preschool one, we have the spring activity guide um, here. We have stone soup, just like in the preschool one. I'm actually gonna peek in this guide to see if there's anything a little different. Okay, so I do notice a couple of things that are similar to the preschool box. I believe this is different. There are no snakes in the preschool box. Um, and it tells us what we need. Look, this only requires two things and the third thing is optional. It tells you the process. The wording is like, what were some facts you found? 
Did you learn something new? So this is something that you can give to your school age kid and they can work on this totally independently. You can tell them to pick an activity that they want to do and they can pick out the, you know, grab their box, grab their crate, get their materials, read these here, and then look, extension activities, extra things that they can do all on their own. Like you don't have to sit with them and read these things to them. Um, unless you'd like to, of course. Okay, so some of the similar activities are birdhouses because, listen, if the little ones are making birdhouses, best believe the older ones are going to want to make them too. Of course, we have lots of cups here and vinegar. These are the Play-Doh accessories. So this is good because, you know, we don't have to share because sharing, sharing is something we need to teach our kids and their kids need to learn. But sometimes it's like, come on, y'all. <laughs> This box is like, not only does it have everything you need, it like problem solves for you. This right here is more than just, I don't have to go to the store to get Play-Doh accessories. This here tells me that I also don't have to break up fights on this day. Okay, listen. <laughs> All right, we have our um, paint here. We have the same color Play-Doh here. Um, we have a wind bag. Curious about that. We have the, ooh, a, for basket weaving. How fun is that? That's so cool. Bonus art materials. Some kind of like Q-tip. I see paint brushes, a handy dandy marker. Again, these markers are gonna come in handy. A scooper, water beads, because every kid's gonna wanna play with those. Black glue. Oh, y'all are making my day. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Hold on. First of all, the this pen. Oh, look. <laughs> Hello. This pen reminds me of my son because his hair is like curly and big. Oh my, he is going to love this pen, especially if I'm like, this looks like you. Oh my gosh, he's going to love, He's. this is going to be all he writes with. Watch. <laughs> okay, we have a little crate here. I love that we have these things because once we're done with these, like using the kit, we can use these like bins and stuff for other things. So we have some Model Magic in white and more white. And we have a ceramic flower. Huh, what are we gonna do with those? And ooh, worms, ooh. This must be the journal, oh my gosh. So same as the preschool kit. So life cycles of the turtle, the bee, the ant, the ladybug. And that's it. Laminated, of course. Also, we have the jars, just like in the preschool kit. And they are different colors. So just so you can see, there's red. There's blue, purple. Uh, more red. And this one is... I can get it. I don't know if I get it. Ooh, yellow. Okay. So those are that. More spring shapes. Oh, this thing is hiding right here. Okay, wow. Okay, I I think I'm gonna be excited about this. Alabama, Delaware, are these state cards? Florida, Oklahoma, yes they are. This is perfect, a nice, you know, small, compact, it's colorful, it's very short and sweet, you know, just a few facts and um, yeah, like, this is gonna be very handy outside of this crate, outside of spring. This will be something that we can use for years. So we have the scavenger hunt, the spring yoga, a story map. This is cool, it's laminated. So again, grab those dry erase markers, those wet um, erase markers, um, you know, and they can go to town being very young writing selves black glue turtle directions state quarter search oh this is so fun 
And this is a map of the United States. So I'm going to see what's inside of this. Okay, so this is just a rolled up piece of blank drawing paper. Um, so I'll have to look in the activity guide to see what this will be used for. But listen, when I tell you, you do not have to think of a thing. This is all here for you. It's good for when the kids are sick, when you're tired, um, when you're sick and tired. <laughs> I kid y'all. I love my kids. Y'all know that. But I can't wait to share this with the kids. They are going to love it. Um, so I will definitely show you their reactions when we show it to them. Wow. That is potting soil. I found it in dirt. And I found <laughs> stuff about mushrooms. Yeah, that's what, those are Play Doh accessories. Everything you need to know to get this knowledge crate in the description below, including a code for you to get a little discount off of your purchase. Thanks for stopping by and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button, smash that bell for notifications. Don't forget to love the video and don't forget to tell your mommy friends where they can get the mommy scoop right here at the Mama Connect. I'll see you soon. Bye.